I was in fairly, it was a fairly good position. I'd only just joined iTrain in February, February the 1st. I was at another gym before that for about 10 months. So yeah, my fitness was good. I already had a, quite a bit of knowledge in terms of training and nutrition. Very, very strong with that. It, it was just a matter of getting structure. I've tried various things, mainly tailored around my diet. In terms of my training history, it's been quite on and off for a few years. And I decided to go on like a crazy bulk for about five months, which I accumulated quite a bit of body fat as well as uh, muscle. But then I started to learn a bit more about training properly and doing the proper compound lifts as opposed to just doing all the isolation movements, etc. But then I started to focus a bit more on the other factors such as sleep, recovery, and just general attitude, really. Currently, I've been on a fat loss routine since joining iTrain. So, although some of my lifts have actually gone up and some of my strength has, primarily the goal is fat loss during these 12 weeks and the next, at least, next 10 weeks after that. Not as good. There was peaks and troughs really where some weeks I would have like exceptional performance and then some weeks I'd have like a plateau. And these plateaus could be like for six or seven weeks. So I think this is where I got Mike on board to say, right, can, can we start to have a look at how many carbohydrates I'm having and making some tweaks in regards to my diet. So although I felt like I knew a lot, Mike was giving me a couple of points and said, if you change this up or you change that, you might see some better results, which I have done. I was, to be honest with you, because when I think about personal trainers in general, I think about side-by-side -side coaching in the gym. You don't necessarily look at your services that are on offer. You just think about lifting weights and then that's where it's going to come from. But there's a lot of other things I've learned from Mike, such as nutritional tips, just being accountable for your actions and, and the coaching models to increase determination and drive. So during lockdown, it's been very tough. But the things I've done in my coaching models have kind of been in my mind when I've been out running or I've been lifting outside. So I think it's been quite, quite successful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've had some good results over the past 12 months, but it's kind of accelerated over the past 10 to 12 weeks with, with Mike. I've learned a lot about myself. I'm still learning a lot about myself. So yeah, it's, it's heading in the right, right direction. Yeah, I did. I wasn't sure what to expect with it being online. I've kind of surprised myself really as to what I've learned from Mike, especially with the coaching models. And I'm not on social media as well, so it's kind of, I've just been using my coaching models and using Mike on, on WhatsApp and, and so on. But I've definitely, definitely learned a lot from, from what um, he's, he's given me. If I didn't join Mike's programme, I quite possibly could have been in the same situation as what I was before I joined. So at the same body weight. And, and with that, I think I wouldn't have been as happy dropping confidence because I've invested a lot emotionally into my training as well. So with Mike's coaching, I've been able to do what I've done in the gym for them for a small few weeks, but then take it home with me and then have Mike next to me just to coach me through and encourage me as well. He arranged a WhatsApp call um, a few days later. I wasn't sure what to expect. Initially, it was just going to be some advice around training, but it was more of a get to know each other. And then he arranged another call, I think a few days later, where we just discussed potentially working with him, which uh, I took him up on his, on his offer. Yes, because I've got the results that I've wanted based on what we've been through and I've definitely seen an upshift in my performance. If I didn't have Mike and I was at home, I, I think everything would have diminished. But if anything, I've kind of, you know, gone upwards. I've got the results that I'm, I'm after. My fat loss has come down, strength's going up, confidence has improved. And I'm just glad to be working with him for the well, rest of the year almost now. So just to keep me on that, on that path.
Mike gives me a lot of free reign to not just do what I want, but he, he kind of trusts me. So if I tell him that I'm going to do something, he'll believe in me knowing that I'm going to go out and achieve it. He'll encourage me. And that's really important because if you've got a coach that is being a bit negative in your training, saying, oh, you need to work harder, you need to work harder, then that can kind of put a dampener on it. But Mike's never been like that. It's about constant improvement as opposed to looking at negatives and trying to make you feel like you're not achieving. I wouldn't say that I didn't like anything because everything I've, I've done, I've, I've, it's kind of been new and fresh. So the only frustration is not being able to to have a gym to, or to, to get into the gym to do some sort of exercises. But I've not had any negative experiences with, with Mike. I think the first couple of weeks were a bit challenging. I've not looked back since week three. It's been a constant upward shift in my performance. So yeah, nothing, nothing bad to say. I think, I mean, his personality is great. He's, he's very, very easy to, to talk to. I see some people, when you think about personal trainers in the gym, they seem like a bit, a bit of a workhorse in terms of you trying to push you in the wrong way. But I think Mike's a very good listener. He lets me speak. He listens to my opinions. He gives me good feedback. And he gives me praise as well. And that praise has been, it makes you feel like you're doing well. It's crazy, really. It's crazy because the past 12 weeks, it's really helped it in other areas of my life as well. I've suffered with like depression in the past. So over the past 12 weeks, I've really seen a shift in my well-being as well. So although I've been stuck in at home for two months in lockdown, if anything, I've, I've been happier. So yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really, really good, all things considering. Yeah, I feel I feel amazing. I probably did want to, or I did want to lose a lot more. My initial target was 16.8 pounds to be precise. I've lost 10. I've got another 6.8 to go, but then another seven pounds to get to 175. So I've come a long, long way, and especially over the last 12 months, my training has accelerated. But yeah, I feel amazing. I feel healthier. That's the main thing as well. I mean, doing this for not just to get a nice aesthetic body, but just for, you know, my mindset. So, I mean, I'm feeling, I'm feeling quite, quite good. I think one thing I enjoy the most is, is, is the weekly calls. I have a little bit of a laugh on there and stuff, you know, but I just feel at ease with him. So I think, you know, the, the, the check-ins that we have are really good. So if there's something that I'm struggling on, you know, he's quick to look at alternatives. Yeah, definitely. The calls are a, a, a big point of the program. You know, it's where the, where the support is, but they definitely, definitely help me anyway. Believing in me. I think there's never been a point where he said, oh, you're not going to achieve this. He, he's constantly been beating the drum for me and, and, and setting me high targets. And he, he knows where I'm going to be. So he can visualise my, my success. Um, he's helped me to do the same as well. So um, yeah, just keep going. Yes, I am, all things considering, I am proud of what I've done so far. There's still a way to go. But like I say, you know, I'm, I'm climbing up that seesaw now um, and I can you know, see, see the finish line. So. I'm happy to um, you know, renew my coaching for, for the next six months.